Today is the International Day of the World's Indigenous Peoples. It was first established by the United Nations back in 1994 to champion their rights. And in Latin America, countries like Bolivia and Ecuador changed their constitutions to preserve indigenous rights. But as CCTV's Dan Collins reports, there is a gap between what's practiced and what's preached. A riot of color and sound. This parade showpieces the myriad costumes and dances of Peru's extraordinary ethnic mix. Acrobatics from the Andes Mountains and rhythms from the Amazon rainforest. Peru's rich culture draws in millions of tourists every year. Something for which Peru's culture minister paid tribute in a message to mark World Indigenous Day. Un saludo cariñoso del Ministerio de Cultura. An affectionate greeting from the culture ministry to all Peru's indigenous peoples. We in the ministry are very dedicated to promoting the development of our indigenous and peasant communities. The flip side of this vision of diversity is the tense standoff between rural indigenous Peruvians and the rush on the country's bountiful natural resources. One conflict over the multi-billion dollar Conga gold mine has come to symbolize this struggle. Farmers fear the project will pollute their water supply. It's one of more than 150 conflicts over natural resources in Peru. Ten people have been killed so far this year in anti-mining protests. Nonetheless, the award-winning activist for indigenous rights, Tarsila Rivera, told CCTV that she was hopeful a compromise could be found. The challenge for the government is to find a way of combining the rights of the indigenous peoples to decide what to eat, where and how to live with the economic development of the country, which is based principally on exploiting its natural resources. After taking office last year, Peru's president Ollanta Humala passed a law giving indigenous communities the right to be consulted about development on their lands. It was seen as a landmark move, but the euphoria wasn't to last as conflicts surged again, threatening $50 billion of investment. Indigenous campaigners are now pushing Umala to bring in stronger environmental laws to regulate foreign mining activity. It will be a painful process, but there's still hope for a harmonious solution. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lima.